Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days of Our Lives reaction video. And, oh boy, I look kind of horrible. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap and my allergies have been acting up the last few days since it's been... <sighs> but y'all don't care. I didn't come here for, for that. <laughs> Anyways, this week, still no flowy scenes. Damn it. <laughs> but Philip did mention Chloe. He went to go see Brady and he Brady told Philip that Chloe was missing and that Kristen had broken out and that Chloe might be in danger because Kristen doesn't want her around him. Wait, did he say any of that? Or this is when we all know. <laughs> oh, someone's outside. Anyways, um Yeah, but I don't know if it was confirmed to be a spoiler or we were just hoping but i did see something about um philip going to so loud goodness it's true um distracting me shut up all that damn noise anyways <laughs> that um philip might be um, the one that finds Chloe, or, well, he's going to go look for her, so we shall see how that goes down. But, um, <clears throat> Chloe's still missing. We, oh, I had the phone out of focus. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see her this week, the last time we saw her. Um, wasn't it last? Yeah, it was Friday's episode, Kristen's stuff in her trunk. <laughs> but Kristen isn't going to get away with her deeds, um, well, before she got caught, she um, wanted to pay Zandy money to kill Lucas and Sammy. So she offered um, uh, $5 million to kill them. Cause I know this because um, <laughs> when Zandy went to go kill them, and he, um, that um, Kristen offered him three million to kill Sammy and two million to kill Lucas, and Lucas got all pissed that um, his life is not worth as much as Sammy's or something. And Sammy's like, um, Sammy's a big pain in the ass. Lucas like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> they had some cute scenes in a little wine cellar, um, reminiscing about older stuff and. Then they try to break out and um, Sammy knocked the ceiling, something in the ceiling, and she fell. <laughs> There's a lot of really great funny stuff. It just shows how much lots of chemistry Lucas and Sammy still had for each other. Not to mention they banged again and Sammy got all upset. I'm like, Sammy, you know you enjoyed that. That's why she just feels guilty. <laughs> she just feels guilty. Not by cheating, but that, that she, um, Enjoy it better than EJ. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I'm serious. <laughs> but, yeah, definitely. And Sammy called um, Zandy. Or well, Sandy. Sammy offered Sandy double um, to save their life. And she, oh, Lord, I had to find that flex. And uh, she called EJ and. Oh my god. She called EJ and um asked him for ten million dollars. And I'm like and EJ didn't question this. I don't know, something's up. I think EJ knows what's going on. Or he just as out of it. He just took some good drugs and his ass was drunk. <laughs> but it's finally hard to believe that Sammy couldn't just call the um bank herself and have it wired. It's like that's weird. But anyways, um, Zayna got his money and Sammy and Lucas are free! Yay! Uh, they not been on, yeah, that was Wednesday's episode, so I wonder what Chanel's gonna say when she finds out, or if she's gonna find out. Well, it's a soap, of course she's gonna find out. <laughs> so, we shall see how she deals with that. <laughs> that should be funny, but we didn't see them the rest of the, um, we suffered they and ran into Marlena, but that was like whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. She's looking for Chloe, but that should be interesting. <laughs> and Nicole's loud mouth told um, Ava that she banged. Now she said that she banged somebody. She didn't say that it was Xander, but I'm like, 
really, Nicole, you know, it's gonna come out now that you wanna go around crying and telling people and shit. <laughs> mm. But anyways, Kristen got caught by Lonnie. <clears throat> and she was dressed up as Susan. And Lonnie's like, cut it out. I know it's you. And they had like this moment and Kristen was crying. Like, she was all sad and shit. And I'm like, Lonnie, her ass is playing you. Don't believe her. But she went in and um, without a fuss, she was happy to meet the twins. And then she told, oh, Lordy. Was it Rafe? Sean? No, I forgot who the fuck she was. No, Eli. It was Eli. I was like, I know she talked to one of them fuckers. But anyway, she told him that if she goes back to prison, then nobody will see Chloe again. So, no way. And they didn't show any more of that this week. So, we shall see how that happens or what goes down with that. Where where Chloe is. But. I don't know. We shall see. Lordy. I'm just beyond tired of this woman. But I heard that Stacey who plays um, Kristen is going to be gone. Um, she's going to leave, I guess, for a short while. So, mm, we'll see. Speaking of leaving, Marcy, who plays... Oh, my God. What if I don't... <sighs> this neighborhood, I swear, is a lot of fuck. I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, he's... But, um... <laughs> Marcy plays um Abby is gone. Um she just had a baby a, a couple months ago, so it's time for her maternity leave. Say bye to her. <laughs> but Abby's leaving town. They said because she's um guilty of what um went down with um her sister Lord Gwen. That stupid bitch ass. Oh my goodness gracious. But yeah, and Chad is a horrible, shitty ass husband because he basically blames Abby for Gwen falling down the stairs. You know, Gwen um admitted to Jack that it was just an accident and that she lied and stuff. But but Abby's leaving her kids again. And I'm like, her kids are gonna like fucking hate her <laughs> when they get older. And if they don't, then this soap is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but she's just like just leaves her kid well before it's cause she was ill and now it's just cause auntie is a bitch <laughs> I guess that's the reason to leave your kids but, and leaving them with Chad lord I hope he's a better father than he is a um, husband Oh, he's just horrible ass shit but um yeah and Gwen went to go see the doctor and found out that the doctor didn't know about Jan and he's going to he's blackmailing Gwen um cause Gwen didn't want to tell the truth so he gave her some drugs <laughs> to send somebody she's like oh no I'm drug meal <laughs> so I'm like yeah but yeah I'm like still thinking why do you tell her about Jan I don't know, but he went to Jan and told her that Sean and Belle saw her awake before um, April Fool's Day. So, she knows that Sean and Belle are just playing him because they decided um, on yesterday, Thursday's episode, that they would play her. Uh, they didn't say what the plan was, but they got mad at each other and Belle threw a drink in his face. <laughs> and he threw um, Philip in her face, and Jan was buying it. I'm like, don't buy it, Jan. He's playing you. Lock him up again. <laughs> but um, we saw at the end of the episode that um, that um, <laughs> um, Jan found Claire, and so she's got a. I think it was a, yeah, she had a gun on her. So, oh, looks like something gotta go down <laughs> lordy <sighs> so it's not safe in Salem no more it's just like people get kidnapped dying locked up they won't let them out <laughs> but I'm mad at Claire cause her and Ben kissed after Ben got served 
um, divorce papers from Claire. Claire, oh lordy. Sierra. I'm like, what that bitch's name? Lordy. <clears throat> I'm just like, oh my god. Why did they do this to me? It's like, it's always when a couple breaks up. It's like, that one person or another, or both of them end up messing around with somebody else. And it's like, so stupid. I'm like, there's so many other angles you could play besides fucking around with somebody. Especially her damn niece. Ugh, I'm pretty much tired of Claire. She needs to go somewhere. It's like, you hate that you, like, love a couple, but then you don't like their kid. <laughs> That's what I love Belle and Sean. She leaves my second favorite days couple, but... My lord, Claire's just, oh my god, useless. They totally need to have another kid because I, <laughs> I really don't like their first toy. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, oh yeah, Kate, I forgot to talk about Kate. She's in a um, medical induced coma. <laughs> and Jake want to be by her side. And they had flashbacks. And I'm like, we do not need to see flashbacks of Kate and Jake. Please. We, it once was fucking enough. Lord. Jesus. That's killing us. <laughs> but Gabby's gonna stay by his side. And he said that um, after everything, he still wants her. And I'm like, you better stay that way. Damn it. <laughs> you know how Dave likes to... um. <laughs> Fuck up shit. Oh my lord. Oh boy. This damn show. But, um, that's pretty much all that happened this week, aside for, um, Chanel getting a lovely peek at, of Eli. I'm jealous. <laughs> he was reaching for something in his towel cell when she walked in, so she saw the booty, and then he turned around. That's too funny. And then he went to go put some clothes on. And she's like, oh, I like the other outfit better or something. I'm like, me too, Chanel. Me too. So, hopefully they don't fuck around. Hopefully that was just a oops. Uh, they should do a oops, I did. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much everything that happened this week. But, um, I will, shall say that I enjoy the Lucas and Sammy stuff a lot. So, I would definitely want to see more of that, hopefully. But they did recast EJ. I totally forgot the dude's name. I saw it, I just saw it on Twitter a couple hours ago. Um, Ron C., who's the head writer of Dave's, he had retweeted, um, I think it was Dateline or something probably wasn't that much. It was some site that um, reported it and he retweeted it. And I'm like, I hope, I, well, he's hot. <laughs> and that I hope that um, EJ and Nicole get back together. Because Lucas and Sammy should be together. And it's been proven the last few weeks. So come on. Beautiful, lovely. And EJ and me was just a note to me. EJ and Sammy are... I do not like them together. I like them, but not them together. If that makes sense. It's possible, I guess. Right? I don't know. Anyways, it's almost 14 minutes more. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Because I'm awesome. Right? That's why you're watching <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm about to curse these people out. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Love y'all. Bye.